Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of uh, two devices in the mid-range segment. We have the newly launched OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G, and we also have the Poco X5 Pro launched a uh, couple of months back. Now, these are two devices uh, which are really good in the uh, mid-range segment. Uh, they're around the 20 to 25,000 price segment. So let's go to the settings of these two devices. So about phone on both the devices now one difference uh, here is that uh, this comes with uh, the android 13 update while this is still android 12 that's a poco x5 pro is still uh, android uh, 12 uh, you can see here poco x5 pro and this is 8 gigabyte ram here also you get 8 gigabyte ram oxino is 13.1 versus mi 14.0.8 so you can see here qualcomm snapdragon 695 while here we have the snapdragon 778g 5g chip so on paper you can uh, say that uh, the snapdragon 778G is uh, definitely more powerful uh, than the um, the Snapdragon 695 uh, processor. But let's uh, see how good are the experience is on these two devices. One is Android uh, 12, one is uh, Android 13. We have 13 on uh, the uh, OnePlus, while it is Android 12 on the Poco X5 Pro. So let's go started with the uh, speed test. So let's just clear off all the background apps on both the devices. So there you go, we just cleared off all the background apps. Now uh, nothing is available in the memory. So let's also check the network connections. Uh, you can see that uh, both the devices are now in airplane mode and both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's get started with uh, the speed test. Uh, so let's just clear off all the background apps once again. So there you go. Now let's start with Asphalt 9. So let's see which uh, uh, which uh, device opens the game faster. Now both have the game turbo mode enabled. So let's see which opens faster. Now there is a lot of optimization required in terms of gaming. So you can see that uh, uh, Poco has loaded the game slightly faster, not by a huge margin, but uh, slightly faster. Uh, now let's uh, move on to the next game that's uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So once again uh, we have enabled the game turbo mode and let's see uh, how they open you can see both of them are going uh uh, here you can see here once again Poco has loaded the game faster. So first, uh, uh, I mean the first two games are uh, both uh, uh, Poco loaded it faster. Now next is the Play Store. Uh, here OnePlus was slightly faster. Next is uh, Chrome browser. Once again uh, Poco is faster here. Uh, next is uh, Facebook. Once again Poco is faster. Twitter. Once again uh, here you can see here OnePlus is faster. Instagram, uh, Poco is faster, Spotify, here probably uh, OnePlus is faster, now Amazon, uh, here again uh, Poco is faster, Flipkart, once again I think uh, Poco is uh, faster, uh, File Manager, OnePlus is faster, Settings, again OnePlus is faster, YouTube, YouTube almost same time I would say Gmail uh, let's see which opens again uh, this is faster on uh, Poco camera uh, probably almost same time maps here OnePlus is faster so you can see here uh, games are faster on uh, the Poco X5 Pro while uh, few other apps were faster on the OnePlus so there are quite good uh, uh, options uh, in the 20 to 25k price segment let's see the memory management of these two devices so that's also important so let's open the apps in the reverse order so there you go so let's see which if any app uh, is uh, op uh, re reloaded uh, so file manager Flipkart, Spotify. So Spotify has been uh, reloaded on uh, OnePlus, but it is refreshed on the Poco. So uh, here again, I can see here it's refreshed. Uh, Facebook, Chrome browser. Now going to the games. Now here you can see that uh, Poco retained the game while uh, OnePlus has reloaded it. So here you can see that uh, memory management is slightly better on the Poco, especially retaining the game. 
so next uh, is uh, asphalt 9 so we'll just uh, wait for this game to uh, load us. so there you go you can see now it's uh, loaded now finally we'll do asphalt 9 so once again you can see here both the devices have reloaded uh, asphalt 9 uh, and uh, uh, so overall you can see that uh, memory management seems to be slightly better on uh, the poco but not by a huge margin just one app uh, uh, retain more than uh, the oneplus but otherwise both these devices did a pretty good job overall so that's the speed test comparison so next let's go to the network uh, speed so this is also important uh, we'll just uh, see which uh, is able to do better speed so let's first uh, do uh, the oneplus Nord c3 light so here you can see here almost uh, similar speeds in terms of upload and download so next uh, let's go to the anti to benchmark score so let's open the anti to benchmark score so you can see the results uh, 4 lakh uh, 7231 this is 5 lakh uh, 15551 and you can see the sp cpu score the gpu score is much higher than the memory score and the ux score so all the scores are better on the poco x5 pro because it's a better chip uh, the snapdragon 778g compared to the snapdragon 695 so that was uh, the uh, benchmark score of these two devices you can see here there is more than a lakh difference in terms of benchmark benchmark score so next let's go to the geek bench uh, results of these two devices So this is uh, the Geekbench 6 results. You can see here 899 is a single core score and 2050 is the multi core score while here it's slightly better 964 and 2622. So that was uh, the Geekbench uh, result of these two devices. So that was the speed test comparison, the anti to benchmark and the Geek uh, Bench are six results of these two devices. So overall, we feel uh, both are quite good devices. But if you are more into gaming, probably the Poco would be the better choice because it has a more powerful GPU as well as CPU. But otherwise, uh, memory management looks quite good. But the important thing is that the OnePlus has Android 13. This has just Android 12. So hope this video was useful. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.